All right, we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Gooning with Gary. It's been a hot minute since the last episode. So welcome back. It's me, as always, Gary. My co-hosts are not here today because they're busy. They have jobs and shit. Boom. But I am here with a very special guest who insisted that he be introduced as Hentai Master. Exactly. So, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. This is a very special episode, because you're the first uh, IRL to come on the show. I've asked many, many people, but they've always been, oh, Gooning, that's that's gay. No. But you, you're a real legend. It's gay. Anti master. I, but I gotta ask, what uh, what's with the username? Why why did you want to be called that? Is it like a Joker thing? No, actually, have you watched the Nagatoro? <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? That was one of the first things I was gonna bring up because we were talking about that a few days ago. But uh, continue, please. Uh. The protagonist's name from the Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, is, his name is Naoto, and I, like, I just like the name. Okay. But you wanted to be introduced as Hentai Master. Yes. So, wh where does that fit into the Nagatoro thing? Isn't she like 15? No, 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 no. That, 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 it doesn't relate to it. It's just a different thing. Okay, well, why do you want to be known as Hentai Master? Why would you not just go by Nyota? Uh, you know, Hentai's been my life. Yeah. That's it? That's the whole thing? Yeah. That is, that is a very brave thing to admit. And maybe in the future, I might be a Hentai Master animator, you know? Oh, you're serious about that? I, I'm actually serious. I'm actually fucking serious. Oh, that's fun. What? Uh, I I would love to review some of your work on the show if possible. You okay. do you have any um any any experience so far? Uh, do, you have any, do you have anything we can take a look at? Like uh, like anything that I've done right now? Like hentai, yeah. No, nothing yet. I'm just starting. Just starting. Well. Just practicing we, for now. We here at Gooning with Gary will be watching your career with great interest. Thank you, thank you. So, that that that's why you go by Hentai Master because you you want to make Hentai. That's. I'm a future Hentai Hentai animator artist. You know, once I get my degree or something. I, I've um I've been made fun of by a lot of people, including my my beloved co-host Rolo. Love that guy, but you know he's he did say this, so I have to call him out. He he said it's it's really unhinged that I act the same way around online friends as I do my real life friends. Mm -hmm. And I I think this this goes to show I'm not the only one who does that. So I really appreciate you making me feel more comfortable because a lot of people would say talking about hentai around people is is really unhinged yeah i i actually i actually only speak uh about hentai when i just uh when i know them already for a long time that, that's true we have known each other for a while but i we haven't talked to each other in a while because I, I think we were friends on my old Discord account that got, um, I got locked out of it. Because uh, I, I deleted I, my one. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I deleted my other one. Well, okay. Well, that, that, you know, that's probably what happened. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you, you deleted your account. I got locked out of mine. Uh, but we've recently reconnected, which is really great. We've been playing Minecraft. Exactly. Who doesn't love Minecraft? Like a fucking reunion. A reunion, you could say. Oh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I can't title this episode that because I already used that like oh. uh, five episodes ago. 
Um, I could call it Ragunian too, but that would imply it's the same person I am reunioning with. So, but then again, does anybody really care about what I title these? People are here for the gooning, after all, not for the, I don't know, the topic. Like, w w I, it, It's been a while since we filmed. What, what did we talk about last episode? It was like, uh, it's, it was a political film. episode. Pardon? Oh, political episode. Yeah, it was a very political episode. I took a political quiz that said I was like a social democrat or something, and I was like, that's that's bullshit. Um. I, I, you know, I, I, I hate libtards. And speaking of libtards, um, have you seen that, uh, that Trump photo? No. Blowing up with the, his mug shot. Where is it? Hold on. I want to see it. Let's, let's see. President Donald J. Trump. All right. Uh, Trump made Twitter? his, yeah, he, it's actually X now. Um, he right. posted his. This is his first uh, Twitter post in like three years. It's, Team Trump? It's just, it's, um, no, Donald J. Trump, real Donald Trump. It's just a link to his website with his mugshot with the caption, election interference, never surrender, donaldjtrump.com. <laughs> Here, I'll send it to you. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I don't really know what more to add to that. I feel like it speaks for itself. That was that's the worst picture he could have got. Well, it's a mugshot. No, nobody looks good in their official photos that they get taken. <laughs> I mean, my my uh my student ID is like the worst worst photo of myself I've ever taken. I remember I, I went to pick it up and I I like the guy handed it to me and I was like, oh shit, I thought that picture turned out a lot better. But we had Pinterest on ID? Oh wait, never mind, I remember. Yeah, mine does at least. Same thing with my driver's license, you know, just nobody looks good. My driver dri driver's license picture is so bad, man. <laughs> I look, yeah. I look. I look like a wet concrete. When have you ever seen someone look good in a like an official photo they've had to take, like driver's licenses, IDs, or whatever? It's always awful, no matter you what know, you do. So I think the one that's taking the picture is just fucking with us. Well, and, just, and they're just giving us bad fucking pictures. I took the photo myself, actually. So. Oh what? Uh, you can do that. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Come on! It depends. I mean, it's still going to end up looking like shit anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference, but... Um, At least I could have done a good fucking pose. <laughs> I guess. I made sure to have my nicest trench coat on. Yeah, exactly. Pretty sure every photo of myself I've ever posted online has been in that, that trench coat. Or at least a trench coat. Because I love worry. trench coats. I'm always on a fucking hoodie. Hoodie? Eh. Hoodies aren't really my thing. It's, you know... I mean, the hood just kind of feels like it's hanging there, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm probably not going to actually wear it. You know, unless it's like raining or something. So then I've kind of got like this, this gay little hood flapping behind my head. See, but you know, if you put it on reverse, you can have a snack fucking storage. Yeah, I did not consider that. That's actually a good idea. Exactly. What would you store there? I can't imagine being hungry enough to have to carry around stuff in my in my hood. And I, like at that point, why would I just use pockets? Is it so I can like sneak a sneak a bite? I mean, you can put like, some tissues in there. You know, just do whatever you want. Some tissues, some tu some loops, you're good to go. Um, why would you not just use your pockets? Well, 
Like, do do you wear women's clothing? Women have small pockets. Nope. Who is more convenient? What what's what's the deal with women pockets being so small? I, I was talking to a friend of mine, and I, I just kind of said this out of nowhere. I was like, "Hey, is it true that women's pockets are way smaller than men's pockets?" And she was like, "Yup." Because I had my switch in my pocket at the time, and she was like, I can't do that. See, they have to give storage for the ass, you know? Uh Uh-huh. The less pocket storage, the more ass storage. Is that true? Uh, I know plenty of men with dump trucks, too, believe me. Oh, that's a whole different thing. What do you mean that's a whole different thing? It's not the same. <laughs> How's it not the same? Men's clothes are just way more wider, more spacious for the balls. What? Wider? I don't know. Um, for the <laughs> right, because if you have yeah. the balls too close to the the skin, um, it gets like hot or whatever and kills the sperm. Or something. Exactly, and you you don't want that to happen. Exactly. But then, why is there so much pocket? See, women no, use I'm... purses to carry all their shit, but all 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 us men's just use a pocket pocket. Everything we have, put it in our pockets. I use a fanny pack, actually. Fanny pack. Yeah. Ah. Uh... Which many people have have made fun of me for, but. They, they, people just don't understand how useful fanny packs are. My are switch you? can fit in it. My water bottle can fit in it. Um, that's about it. I mean, I use a that's sling bag. Sling bag? Yeah. Like that you sling over your shoulder? Yeah. Oh, I guess that's probably more of what mine is, but I use it like a fanny pack. Because I think that I think that's more convenient. Because I feel like it's gonna keep like sliding down my arm. I have to keep readjusting it. But oh, if yeah, I wear true. it around my waist, I just I just hook it up once and we're good to go. You know, I'm fair enough. Re- ready to goon. You know, it it could function as like an emergency goon kit. Have you seen that post on goon caves? It's like the funniest thing I've ever seen. No, you haven't showed me everything. Oh shit. Um. Obviously, I cannot. Like, put this on YouTube because it's not safe for work. Let's see if I can find. Emergency goon kit. Okay, here we go. Log in to confirm you're over 18. (laughs) <laughs> okay, I'm I'm not doing that. Whatever. I remember what it is. It's okay. So, this is from Goon Caves, classic subreddit, one of my favorites. Okay. This, uh, this guy has got an emergency goon kit. He's got binders of porn. What um, the fuck? He's got a backpack with um, binders of porn. He's got a laptop with a bunch of porn on it lube, everything you need in case he needs to goon anywhere he is. Uh, or, or she. I'm not judging. Gooning is for everyone. <laughs> it's, I mean, you just gotta give respect to that man, you know? Yeah. Like, obviously if someone on Goon Caves has got like their deck out or whatever, it's obviously not a joke. But I wonder how many of those posts are like sat- satirical. Because I feel like the emergency goon kit one is just so absurd. That has to be satire, right? I have a good but, feeling it's not. <laughs> yeah, like at the same time, there's so much insane shit on that subreddit that it's hard to tell. Like the the line between satire and reality is becoming blurrier every single day. Oh no! Like like a uh, a few years ago, I'd be like, "Ha ha, this idiot's." Falling for obvious bait. What an idiot. But reality is so whack these days that it's like, um, is this guy being serious? 
I'm trying to think what's what's a good example of that um help me out here my brain is not working So, have you ever read a book called Metamorphosis? Ah, sadly, yeah. We were talking about this earlier. So, you're, uh, you know, for, for context, for the audience, of course, we were playing Minecraft with the buddy, and he asked, um, have you guys heard of Shindo L? And I was like, no, I haven't. I'm going to look that up. And, of course, the classic Metamorphosis, uh, what is it, Manga? Um, yeah. showed up, which I'm surprised has a Wikipedia page that showed up, and I was like, oh, it's that guy. Now, for for those of you who have not read Metamorphosis, please don't. It is... <laughs> don't, don't watch it. You'll regret it. That, that's fair. It's easily the most fucked up thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I I have no idea how anybody is supposed to get off to that. And the knowledge that somebody did is really disturbing. Basically, a girl gets her life ruined after getting raped by her dad and then gets beaten to death while pregnant or something like that. Is, while on cocaine. Like, just, right? Yeah, on cocaine. It's been a while since I read it. Um, but it's it's just... Yeah. I, I kind of wish I hadn't brought it up now. But <laughs> it's... Is that is that kind of like your style? Is that the kind of style that you're going for um, when you when you go into this kind of career, or uh, would you rather something more tame? I'm I'm doing more fucking. I, I'm not doing that type of shit. <laughs> Maybe I'll I'll do like fantasy, you know, fantasy vanilla. Maybe put like, some put a, put a little bit of monster in there, like elves and shit. Yeah. I do like elves. Elves, slimes, oh, shit. ogres. I did, I did not realize that the cover of Metamorphosis is bare titties. I can't show that. What else? Mermaids. Mermaids. Yeah. Is that a a thing people are into? Hell the fuck yeah! Even fucking snakes. Snakes. Yeah. Like lizard people. Yes. That's true. There's there's some weird shit out there. Which like a Lamia. I, I, Lamia. Like from Elder Scrolls? I, I, the, the Lamia from the... What hentai is it? Hold up. I think I know it. Oh. Monster Musume. I, I don't like that you were able to remember that off the top of your head. Well... I got the manga and, right here in my fucking desk. You're kidding. Hey, I buy hentai mangas for the reference. For reference. Yeah, okay. I, need, I need to know the I, anatomy. I was going to say that. That's. I've. Uh, dude, I am not usually speechless, but that's <laughs> that's like a crazy thing to just admit to. Hey, you got to learn somehow. Hey, you know what? I respect it, man. I'm just, I'm just like uh, <laughs> processing it. <laughs> but I, I respect it, dude. That's that's based as fuck. I got like a whole manga on my desk that I had to, I have to read and look at it, just to perfect my style, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So are you like a uh, an animation major? I'm I'm hoping I'm going to be. Fun. Because I, I I don't really want to do uh graphic designing, which is my second yeah. choice. Yeah, I I did a bit of animation back in high school, and it did not go well because I can't draw for shit. Oh, you went I, fucking well for me. Yeah, I, I genuinely have the artistic talent of, like, a, a two-year-old, and it's never gotten any better. But I, I believe I've seen your art before. You're you're pretty talented, I think. I don't know. I think if, let me, if I I'll, I'll show you my, my newest one. 
that I did for a commission. Is it porn? No, just normal. Okay. Nice. Well, then maybe we can we can show it up on screen. Link. There we go. Link your. You got a, You got an X account. Huh? You got an X account. I think I do. Oh, that's actually pretty impressive, dude. The the coloring is really bad, but you know. Well, believe me, it's a hell of a lot better than I could do. I I couldn't even come close to that. Probably the best thing I ever drew was like a lion, I think. And even then, it was pretty dog shit. Like, Dude, just... I was so bad at drawing. I had to, I had, I had to look at uh, YouTube videos just to just to learn. But, oh, well, I've been I've been taking art classes basically most of my life, and I just I could never improve. You went to I, art classes in high school. Um. Elementary school as oh, well. Oh, elementary. So basically, well, my whole life. Well, how the fuck have I not seen you? Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so it's a big world, big planet. God damn. So, yeah, uh, I think it was a lion, and like you still got the picture. Grade, I want to say. No, I have no idea where any of these are. I think probably my proudest artistic achievement was like this um, Stickman comic I made back in like fifth grade. I have no idea where it is, but I I vividly remember the whole thing. I I had like this this Stickman with like a he had like a cape. Mm. It's called like Super. St no, he was Stickman. Stickman. Stick man. <laughs> and he was he was fighting like these just these weird bizarro creatures because I figure like anything I draw is gonna end up looking all weird and bizarro so I may as well embrace it. And I was like the the only decent things I ever drew because they I was like leaning into the the uncanny aspect trying to make them look weird. <clears throat> like there was like a giant plant, a uh, giant fish. Like a, a cyclops ball thing with arms. I'm proud of that. I don't know what happened to it, but I'm proud of that. Should have kept it. I should have, but that was, like I said, like fifth grade. So that would have been like, how, how old are people in fifth grade? I don't even remember. I don't know. I'm too retarded was, for that shit. <laughs> at, at, least a de at least a decade ago. At least. And I think I have a Pixel account that has good amount are, of views and likes. Very nice. Are, are you famous? Would I know of you? No. <laughs> I don't know. Well, there, there you have it, folks. The first famous guest on Gooning with Gary. Pixel. Isn't that a porn website? No. I somewhat Tell me a pixel look link. Well shit. That's the thing about porn on the internet. You're gonna find it whether you're looking for it or not. I see pixel links all the time. Pixel has like uh, the NSFW side and then the wholesome one side. Yeah, of course you would know that. Yeah. <laughs> as as long as you turned off the NSFW, you're not gonna see anything. I guess that's fair. I learned, I've I don't learned turn that the hard way. Yeah, I, I don't turn it off because I'm not a pussy. I turn it off when I'm at work. <laughs> well, I don't. Oh, I, shit. I remember I was... Um, this was like one of the scariest moments of my life. I was in the library. Uh, at, at a library, right? I was like working on something. I don't remember what. Probably something for school. And somebody sends me a picture of their tits and <laughs> i i i op i open up but like they com completely unsolicited unprompted uh i open up discord uh boom there's there's tits in my face in public i'm on my phone there's tits on my phone they're <laughs> naked tits and i'm like 
what what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you send me those? <laughs> Did anyone see it? I, I hope not, but I was like genuinely <laughs> angry. Because I'm I'm in the I'm in the middle of public. Yeah, and keep in mind, I did I did not ask for these at all. So just someone, some random just sends you tits. Yes. Cool. And got like I I I was like scared for my life, dude. I think I, I have I had the same situation on my work, and I forgot to turn off the NSFW part. I was at the corner, just scrolling down. My coworker went up. When my coworker went to me to ask me a question, looked at my phone. There was right, straight up hentai in there. <laughs> While I was scrolling, and I just left it scrolling, and it went to the hentai hentai post. Okay, well. I was like, I was like, God, oh shit! Yeah. He saw it. Was like, uh, yeah. I watched those two. It's like, oh, so say it. Respect. Oh. <laughs> well, at work usually, I I I put my settings on to like hide. Or like hide NSFW stuff until you press the show it, like not hide it completely. And that's that's usually what I have it on anyways, because like normally I just I'm just like not interested, man. You know, I'm just I'm just trying to look for like wholesome wholesome fan art of my favorite um I don't know f- Fire Emblem, that's an anime, Fire Emblem character. Um who even looks at wholesome art? Let's go to NSFW. Who the fuck watch? Who, who I do. the fuck? Oh, you do? I oh. wanted a cool Edelgard screensaver back when I was really into Three Houses. Oh, fair enough. Did you no play one Three Houses? NSFW on your screen, sir. Oh, on their screen. What? Did you play Three Houses? Three Houses? No. Okay. Probably for the best. There's a lot of uh, discourse about that game in general online. I, I probably shouldn't have brought it up because that could have been really explosive if if you knew if you knew what I was talking about. Oh. <laughs> so uh, maybe, maybe it's time to to quickly change topic. Ready. Uh, kind of out of topics. So you'll have to give me a second. Probably just. I'll cut this part out and post. All right. I show speed showed his penis. Forgot about that. We're we're talking about current events. This this is an episode about current events now. Current events is that I show speed uh, showed his penis on stream. The last time I saw I show speed is when he was fucking beat up. I don't know what happened. He he got beat up. Yeah. I and mean, then he was on the he was on an ambulance. Was that in July? Because I just opened his Twitter. First thing I see is pl- please pray for me, and he's in a hospital bed with a black eye. Yeah. Who That's beat him I'm up? I have no idea, man. Who beat up Speed? To be fair, he kind of deserves it. I think oh. I think Speed's. Kind of funny sometimes, but he's also like a genuinely terrible person who abuses copyright. I think he got beat by a fan. So I kind of find it hard to feel bad for him, um, especially the the dick thing. I mean, thankfully he turned eighteen recently, so it's nothing illegal. When did he show his dick? Did you not see that clip? No, it was an accident. He, oh, um, accident. Yeah, uh, he was playing Five Nights at Freddy's. So I'm um, off to a good start right there. Yeah, he he got scared got, and the camera fell down? No, he got jump scared by Chica. And he was like talking about how much he wants to fuck Chica. And he started thrusting the camera. <laughs> and then his dick flopped out. Oh. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> And he, he realized pretty quickly what happened. You know where you have it? Why haven't I seen that? I should be kept up in this shit. That's that's like my worst nightmare right there. So I he seems to have, he he embraced the meme because he was playing the same game a while ago. Um, he got jump scared by Chica. Kind of started with the same bet, and then he like had a moment of realization. 
he's like freaking out because he's like, "Why would you do that, Speed?" Hold on. So what? What finest are pretty though? I don't which, know which finest are pretty. I have no idea. If it's if it's two, I can understand, but anything else is no. Well, it's it's one where you can like move around and shit. I haven't played any of them, so I don't know. Okay. I I just know like the uh, characters from the first game. Oh, the finest of Freddy's two characters, Chica's way fucking hotter. Yeah, I I there's a lot of FNAF porn, and I I've never once looked at a Five Nights at Freddy's character and think I want to have sex with that. I do. It makes one of us. <laughs> but uh, speaking of Five Nights at Freddy's, are you excited for the movie? Hell yeah! It looks. There's, there's, it there's looks actually exciting. a YouTuber that I've been watching. It's Corey Kenshin, and he's he's getting in there. Shoutouts, but uh, anyways, the the movie looks surprisingly good. I really hope they don't fuck it up. It's been in production for like eight years, I think, right? So you you'd hope that they spent that time making it good. Eight years, something like that. Because I guess you know we have good video game movies now. There's um, Sonic and its sequel, and that's about it. But yeah, Sonic it, almost got ruined. <laughs> I mean, that, that's proof that good video game movies are possible. I wouldn't say they're like masterpieces. Mm-hmm. I mean, every scene with Jim Carrey is golden, that's for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Shout out to Jim Carrey, by the way. Love that guy. And, um, yeah, the the... The FNAF movie looks surprisingly promising. I really hope they don't fuck it up. Um, I think uh, I think these same guys are doing a Dead by Daylight movie as well. So interested to see how that'll turn out. Mm-hmm. I, I can't imagine it will turn out particularly well, but Dead by Daylight sucks. By the way, true. Even though that's what my profile picture is, I just realized. Oh, it is? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's the Xenomorph. You ever seen Alien? <laughs> no, I've seen it. I haven't. What the fuck? But I love the Xenomorph in Dead by Daylight. I, I should watch Alien. I think the last horror movie I watched was like Friday the 13th, the original one. And that was, that was really hard to watch. You know, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm, I'm looking at the Find the shot for these movies right now. I I I think it's gonna be shit now. What's that? Uh, the CGI. What's wrong with the CGI? I don't know. It's not. It's not realistic enough. For eight years they've been working on that. Dog water. Uh, it says film adaptation began in April 2015. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh shit, they got um Josh Hutcherson as Mike Schmidt. Wait, who's playing the uh the purple guy? Oh no way, gaming YouTuber Corey X Kenshin has a cameo appearance? Yeah. I have no idea who that is. Is that like Sky Williams? Mm, no. Didn't Scott, didn't, um, uh, what the fuck's his name? Sky Williams, like, rape somebody or something? I don't even know who Sky Williams is. He's some black guy. Oh. Shout out to Sky Williams. Shout out, shout out. Uh, oh, Scott Cawthon wrote it. Let's see. Jason Blum. Oh, he's the guy who owns Blumhouse. I get the. Oh. Oh, he made Halloween 2018. That's actually a good movie, so. Don't mind if I do. Oh! They, they said in the trailer it was like from the uh, makers of Megan. I was like, I have no idea what the fuck that is. That's how you know it's going to be bad. Well, they did make, they did work on uh, Halloween 2018, so I'm optimistic. Halloween 2018. Oh. 
Let's see. Oh shit, they got Matthew Lilliard as William Afton. Oh, I guess they changed his name to Steve Raglan. I don't know what's up with that. This guy looks familiar. Dude, this guy is Shaggy Rogers. Wait, what? They got Shaggy as um the purple guy. Wait, for real? <laughs> yeah. All right, now I'm watching. That's fucking Shaggy. <laughs> oh, the fuck, yeah. What? Wait, what? What? Credit is Shaggy Rogers, Mortal Kombat Legends, Battle of the Realms? Huh? Mortal Kombat Battle of the Realms. Shag what Shaggy <laughs> They put Shaggy in a Mortal Kombat movie? What? I gotta see. Shaggy Mortal Kombat Legends. Oh, is he it? Ultra. <laughs> they have Ultra Instinct Shaggy. <laughs> Ultra Instinct Shaggy Ultra meme Instinct is can. There's no way, dude. Oh. I mean, we all know Shaggy's the god, you know? He's... Oh, no, he's in the intro. So, oh, panel focusing on multiverses? Oh, they shut down multiverses. It's such a shame. Could have been so cool. You know, it was actually the fucking uh, Ultra Instinct Shaggy memes that gave them the idea to make that game. For real? Yeah. Oh, the more you know. So the only reason multiverses exist is because of Shaggy memes. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think multiverse awesome. would last. Well, they plan on putting it back up. They took it out of beta, which was obviously like a cop-out, but whatever. Oh, uh, have you heard about the uh, blue protocol censoring? Blue particles? In blue pro protocol censor censorship. I don't know what that is. No. So a, a new an anime MMO game is coming out. They oh. delayed it on December just so they can censor some some clothing and body. Is this a Bandai Namco game? Yeah. What's it called? Blue protocol. Blue Protocol. The, like, just for the Western release? Rest, just the Western, yeah. They only fucked over the Western stuff. Of course. I I remember um, there used there was a big drama about a uh, the Shin Megami Tensei Fire Emblem crossover game because they they censored outfits and you can't see the main girl's vagina bones anymore. Yeah, I think that's the same thing that's going to happen to Brutal Protocol. It's and like, they also removed the jiggle physics, which is disappointing. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. To be fair, I'm I'm fine with that as long as they keep it consistent across every region. I mean, as but long as they see they, as long as I see some some cleavage, I'll be content, you know. I mean, dude, this is a fucking Bandai Namco game. Hey. What can you do? The, like, it's anime service. Yeah, I, I know. That, that's what I'm saying. This is fucking Bandai Namco. These are the guys who make, like... They basically make softcore hentai games. Yeah, but... Uh, and they're worried about the one, the, censorship? No, like, the one that's producing it in the Western is Amazon. So that's the one that fucked over. So that uh, fucked over. Is Amazon's making them do it? Yeah. Because I, I find it really hard to believe that Bandai Namco would do that. Fucking Jeff yeah, no. Bezos. Fucking Jeff. I hate him. A publisher, Amazon Games. 
Mm-hmm. The fuck is Amazon published? I didn't even know Amazon games was a thing. What is this? Uh, it's a bunch of games that I've never heard of. Oh, Most of three games. Censored. <laughs> they put out like three games. Three games and they failed. Choose your hero. Online action RPG. This doesn't even look fun. This doesn't even look that good. Another fucking fantasy anime game. Never seen one of those before. Deep customization. Well, something's going to be deep, all right. (laughs) That's fucked up that they did that to Bandai Namco, though. Yeah, they fucked them up real bad. These are literally the the fucking... These guys always have the jiggle fists. Dude. Every fan service is gone. No one's gonna buy the 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 gacha the gacha clothing anymore. I feel like the clothes are gonna get censored. No one's gonna buy that. Gotcha. Wait, Blue Protocol is a gacha game? On the clothings for the clothing. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's the equivalent of shooting yourself in the foot. Yep. A gacha game with no fan service? So it's probably gonna flop when it comes out. Exactly. That's that's the whole fucking point. That's a, an objectively bad business move. Bandai Namco Essential RPG Collection. I'm curious. What does Bandai Namco consider essential? Uh, Code Vein. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Doesn't this game fucking suck? Which one? Code Vein. Code Vein. It's like anime Dark Souls. It's the Dark Souls of uh, Bandai Namco games. I never played oh, that. Yeah. Looks Most bad. helpful review, Dark Souls with Tits. Recommended. I mean, as long as there's Tits, I'll fucking play it. True. Man, I, man I, I'm the guy whose fucking podcast has Goonie in the title. And I'm, I'm, not the, I'm not as much of a horn dog as you. I feel like you're showing me up on my own show. Hey, that's what the hentai master do. That's true. That's... That's true. You got me there. I mean, you, I, I mean, it's in the name. You got you got hentai in your name. Mine's, you know, I just go by Gare. That's you know, <laughs> doesn't really. I, I mean, it kind of sp- speaks for itself. You can't beat the hentai master with the hentais. That's true. Let's see, audience, grandma. Bugs. This guy, he has a bugs category in his review. One of the options, like the the buggiest option, is Ark Survival Evolved. (laughs) It's been a while since I've played Ark. Not gonna lie, but I I could never get into it. Arc Knights? No, Arc Survival Evolved. Arc Survival. Yeah. I yeah, no, it's not really my type of game. You know, I should I should do an episode where we read Steam reviews. Future episode idea? Anybody? Anti game reviews. That's that's true. It, it, you um, actually it was you. You were the one who um, 
told me to like download a bunch of hentai again. Yeah, and then review it. <laughs> True. Let's see. Let me check my Steam library. What, what did I get? Because I think the only thing I got from that was the the game with the Monster Girls, which I didn't install. Monster Girl Island. Best Monster game of Girl all. Island. Yes. Disappointed it didn't update it, but you know, still good. What, are they not going to finish it? It's just a prologue. They abandoned uh, it? I feel like they abandoned it. No! Hey, oh. big cock. Haram. See, that's why I'm thinking, you know? Is that a fucking B-girl? Yep. Potential spoilers? Press to reveal him. Because if I somehow became an an a professional animators or some shit, 3D or 2D, I can probably design a better fucking hentai game. We will be playing. I'll proceed. I'll now proceed to pleasure myself with this fish. <laughs> Damn. And I think the other one is like orc massage. You couldn't find it on Steam. Uh, you 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 don't got uh, you have your settings off, I think. For the 18 plus. Monster girls are better than regular girls because the monster is on the outside. Yes, sir. So true. I think I have a whole library and wrist list of hentai. Great. We will definitely be gooning to this game. <laughs> It's going to be a long this, game, though. This man saved me from falling five feet. Let me reward him with anal sex. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's that's a picture of DDD. What? King DDD from Kirby. Love that guy. Oh. Shark Girl Mermaid. Don't mind if I do. Okay, well... The only problem with installing a game like this uh, is that I have to, I can't I can't put a uh, bookmark for it on my home screen because this is a computer I use for schoolwork. <laughs> oh, what? I can't have, I can't did, have did someone they monitor it? it. No, no, this oh, is okay, my personal okay, good, computer. Good, good. I just use it for schoolwork, so I like take it to uh, I take it to school, right? And oh, yeah. um, you know, I, I you know, so, like right now I've got a. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is probably the weirdest thing I have on my computer. Oh wait! Oh no! What? I I I think when I when I was working on um my graphic design class, I brought my laptop, and uh, yeah, I think you probably know. I did not delete the hand type apps. Oh. And some people probably saw it because they're oh. fucking near me. Oh, well, well they, they probably wouldn't have understood, right? Yep. That's, it's okay. I'll just uh, click off, uh, make a make a desktop shortcut, and there we go. All I have to do is not open the search bar around <laughs> other people. Or try not to. <laughs> yeah, try not to. <laughs> I my screensaver is Monica, right? From Doki Doki Literature Club. You like and Monica? I was, pardon? You like Monica? Oh yeah, absolutely. I love Monica. Um I but as I, I, like, was, I like the purple hair one better. Well in terms of sex appeal, Yuri is my favorite, but as a character, Monica is by far my favorite. Fair enough. Um but, you know, I, I was kind of, like, embarrassed by that at first because it's like, oh, people will think I'm a weed. But then I was like, you know what? It's a fucking awesome game. It's an awesome character. There's nothing to be ashamed of, you know? Mm -hmm. 
we've got to embrace. But uh, speaking of weebs, uh, we've been rolling for about an hour, so I think it's time to call it short. You know, it is it is Minecraft night after all. Uh, We've got true. some Minecraft that, boys dude. to get to. I, you know, yeah. hopefully the wait between next episode and and this one is is shorter than the last one. But at the end of the day, uh, we we do have lives outside of this podcast. Um, we have jobs. So, you know, it's the way yeah. it's going to be. I, I'm not getting paid to do this. You're not getting paid f- to come on here, right? We're I'm not. We're doing this for fun, all right? I thought I was getting paid. No, you're not. I'm joking. So, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> but um, thank you. Thank you very much for coming out. This has been a very episode. This has been an episode. A, a, a great episode. Yeah, which you you made me very uncomfortable, which not a lot of people can do. So, I'm bi- glad big to respect for that. Big respect, man. Yeah, I got you. But other than that, um, shit. Uh, what's what's my catchphrase? What do I usually sign off with? Um, all right, I got this. Catch out. All right, bye. Oh. Okay, that's good. We're gonna end it there.